Good morning, everybody. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. Uh, it's been a crazy good week this it, week. It has been a very good week. Yesterday was uh, Independence Day, so mm -hmm. happy 4th of July. That was a good one. <laughs> it was. It was a chill one. Anthony and Roxanne made um, a big brisket, and it was so good. Man. Yeah. That was some, that was some bomb, bomb food. Yeah. And he, uh, he ended up giving me uh, two plates. <laughs> it was. One it's big like, old plate of meat and a uh, plate of sides. <laughs> and Anthony goes, don't disrespect me in my own house. Get us another plate. You better eat. You better eat. <laughs> Gary looks uh, at it. He's all, whoa. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had my stomach quiver at me in the sense of like, that's a lot of food. <laughs> His eyes were were shining with delight, but also with fear. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good one, though. It was very low-key. Oh. Um, just, you know, like Anthony and Rox and uh, me and Gary, my mom, Brittany, Colin, Kylie, one of their friends. Got to snuggle with the baby. Got to see little Eric again. No. He's growing really quick. He's already a month old. Uh, my sister... Um, and then uh, David and Addie and um, Mike and Lissa and Serenity. Nope. So just our little, you know, little group. Nope. Nope. But it was good. It was really good. Lots of good food. Lots of good food. Lots and lots of good food. Oh, man. I'm still stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I know you had such a huge plate. You had oh, such a huge plate. That was so bomb. So good. It was really Thank good. you guys again over there. Yeah, love you Anthony, guys. Rox, you guys, man. That food was bomb. Anthony and Rox. Oh, that food was bomb. Yes. But yeah, no, it was a, it was a good day. We uh, you know, we did a lot of uh, little fireworks. We didn't go crazy or anything else like that. But yeah, I still had a crap ton of sparklers from all the years and everything else. So I was trying. Let's to, light them all. Let's, I was trying to light them all. We, I still have. There's still like one box. A bundle. <laughs> so get this: when Gary was like going through our stuff, like our storage, trying to like you know see what we got, what we don't, you know, he actually came across a box of mortars from you know the event. Yeah. <laughs> That one, that time, that 4th of July, yep. he still has a box of mortars. And me and Rox are like, don't light them. They're bad juju. Don't light them. They're old. Like, you should not be lighting these. And Gary's like. <laughs> but, 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 I <laughs> and, want to. <laughs> and, and me and Roxanne are like, no, no. So, luckily, we, yeah, we talked him out of doing it. But Gary, you see that twinkle in his eye? You see that little twinkle in his eye? And we're just like, no. So what do you do with fireworks? Like, I just want to know. Because honestly, I don't know. I could Google it, I'm sure. Uh, but like, what do you do with fireworks that are old that you want to dispose of? Like, I wouldn't want to just them. put them in the trash. No, you like, can't. And that's the thing. Yeah, I don't think you can. You can't really do like, that. Like, how do you and dispose that's the, of them? That's the thing. Even if you soak them, right? Yeah, they're still. You, you can't. They can dry the, out eventually. Do you take them to the fire right? department? Do you take them to the police station? Like, what do you do with old? That's where I'm. Is that what you do? Well, they just, you just light them up. No, you light them no, off. No, you don't. And if they don't go no. off, then you put them in water. No, I think I think you give them to the fire department. That's what I think. I think that we should hold on to them, and then like the next time I that we that go into go. town, we should just be like, "Hey guys, here you go." I didn't know what else to do with it, and either they'll take them, which I think they would take them. Or, I say that we just light them off. I right? don't think that is a good idea, considering. Yeah, I'm just saying. Just bad like, juju. Just, it's not like we're gonna be putting them on the roof. All right, I'm just bad juju. <laughs> eh, eh. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. You're a grown man. I cannot stop you. I cannot. I have to like release it. I cannot stop you. I can stop my feet. Mm. And I could I be don't. like, it's a bad idea, but at the end of the day, you're a grown man, you'll do whatever you want to do, and I have to just accept it. I get that, but please. <laughs> I just say fire it off, you know, that's what I said. No. Yeah. I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it down in the comments what you think about that situation. I'll try to hold his horses off as much as possible, but no promises. Just like one at a time. Keep everything away from it. And everybody else, as soon as you light it, you run. And you run. I mean, you get away from it. I'm good. 
I'm good. Justin Gate. I'm good. <laughs> so I'll be holding Gary back as long as possible. Drop down your comments, please. <laughs> help me out here or not. Or if you're on Gary's side with this, then I help say we him hold out. on. I say we hold on to him until New Year's and then we go we go ham on New Year's. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I feel like that would be the better better way to go. Wait till New Year's where everything's wet and let's, let's see cold. What the Let's see what the people say. <laughs> Let's see what the people say. <laughs> Chain changing gears, changing gears. Uh, I want to apologize for leaving y'all hanging on Wednesday for during our live chat. Um, so what happened was, is honestly, I spent like all of Wednesday out in the garden. So me and Gary, okay. Skeet, skirt, back up. So Wednesday morning we woke up and we were going to do real talking stuff, but Gary was a little tired because we really worked our butts off out on the cabin the day before that. And we had heat advisory and all this. And although Gary wasn't always in the direct sun that day, it was still so hot. And we had just come back from through Mississippi. We haven't really, Gary was enduring heat exhaustion for one reason or another. He was getting like heat sick you know when you get so hot you just start getting nauseous and like sick to your stomach and just everything is just oh so nope. gary was feeling like that we did put in a really great work day on tuesday we got so much done well then wednesday morning we wake up and you know i'm always more of the early bird one i get up and i get the coffee and stuff and i start getting a move on the day and um i let gary sleep because i knew that he wasn't feeling like the best the night before so it starts to be you know eight o'clock Gary's still sleeping. It's like nine o'clock. Gary's still sleeping. And I thought to myself, self, you know, I'm, I'm just going to let him sleep because I have other stuff that I can do without Gary. And I can tell if we're not out there working on the deck by like nine o'clock or we haven't gotten dressed and we're not going towards it, how hot it's been. It's not happening because but the end of the day for us is around like between noon and two, depending on the heat. Uh, that siesta time because it gets so it's it's not safe to work in it's just not I don't know how some of the construction workers do it um they do exactly what we have planned exactly. in our in our day-to-day -day. yeah they're up, up at five <laughs> work you know? at five and by like 12 to right you know or they go to work at six o'clock in the evening yeah and they don't get done until two o'clock in the morning right depending you on know? their field right so exactly. well I mean that's that's what they do is they, that's, that's how OSHA would like you to do it yeah. for the safety aspects. Of well, we ain't got no OSHA around here, anybody. but <laughs> that's essentially where my brain was going. Right. It was nine yeah. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Gary still wasn't up. I just real, I just was like, yep, we're not going to work on the cabin today. Switch gears, Mel. And so that's what I did. So I went outside on Wednesday and I took care of the garden no. and the garden, man, it has been so overgrown because I usually do that on Sundays, um, go out and just do a little bit of weeding. It's probably about maybe 20 minutes to an hour at most, you know, of harvesting and uh, weeding and stuff. And it stays nice and good. Well, all last month we have been slammed busy with something going on literally every weekend coming and going. And, um, I hadn't had any time. So my garden got ridiculous. So Wednesday, I decided to go out there and start taking care of the garden. I'm super long winded, <laughs> but anyway, go out there, do all that. It was a great day. Got a lot done in the garden. I did record a video that you guys are going to get to see for that here soon. Um, I'm actually, I, I, I can't wait for you guys to see it because there's some things going on in there. It was, there was some disappointment. There's some, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, that I am bringing to your guys' attention during that video, which you'll see soon. But while I was filming it, at the end of the day, my body seriously felt like I got run over by a truck because it was so much work out there. It was so hot. I did have um, extra tools to help keep me cool. And so it wasn't necessarily like the heat. It was the physical activity of bending down, picking up my back, like I pulled something in it. So Wednesday night, um, I come in from doing the garden and stuff and I sit down and like, as soon as I sat down, my body just went <laughs> and it all like hit me at once. And I was like, Oh, and I, I felt so bad. So we didn't do live on Wednesday because I was feeling terrible. Um, Gary you had a little bit, don't let her fool you. She had a little bit of heat exhaustion as well. Oh yeah. I was beat red. And like, 
I was so red. I was trying to get her in side. And I was like, babe, you need to just come inside. You can't you can't be out here working not like in this heat like this. Yeah, and Gary. she's just she's like, No, no, I got just this little bit to do. I'm good, I'm all right. I just got a little left. I just got and a little I'm just left. looking at her I'm like, left. babe, it is this is like worse than the other day. And I got bad and everything else. And I'm like, this isn't good. And I get like one track mind sometimes. Um it's part of my mental condition, right? Where I can get hyper focused on stuff. That's a good thing. It is a good thing. When you, when it's, you, a <laughs> it's a good thing when you focus that energy like in the right place. And I feel like it was in the right place. I was handling yeah. business. I was doing you stuff. Are. But at the same time, I was completely neglecting. Um, I was Your, like my physical. Yes. You know, so I get kind of trance mode sort of with things. Like, I'll get like in the zone and... Yep. And then after I'm done, like, and I'm done being hyper-focused on whatever it is, like, I fall into a puddle. <laughs> like, I crumble. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'm just so done. Spent. <laughs> so Wednesday, I was so done. And I was so spent. And that's why we didn't go live. Because, honestly, I was asleep. I was done. I came in the house. And I literally, that was it. I was done. No. Sorry, guys. <laughs> And, and we didn't do real talk on Wednesday because we were planning on going uh, live that night. And also, like I said, Gary was sleeping that morning. And because I was out there just doing like recording a separate video for Simple Life, um, I just I just didn't do it by myself. I just didn't. I was like, no. I'm just going to take all this recording that I'm doing and I'm going to twirl it into a video for Simple Life for you guys. No. So it is what it is. It is what it, it is. is what it is. It gave you guys time to miss us, right? You guys missed us. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, and then yesterday was fourth of july and it was lots of family coming over um like my mom like i said my mom and my sister my sister made it from little rock and seeing Brittany and the baby and mm -hmm. kylie and and then of yep. course the the family david yep. and mike and lissa our other brothers from another mother and yep, sister yep. from another mister you yep, know yep. yeah good stuff good stuff yep. i got all the kids here now though um of course addy and serenity cornered us last night when we were doing the fireworks like right it was we were finishing um they come over miss melanie <laughs> i say let me guess and they're like please please they didn't even ask they just were like please please and i was like you know what my back still isn't 100 um my body still feels like it's run over by a truck um that was yesterday and i was like you know friday i think i'm just gonna as much as I want to get out and work on the deck some more, the part that Gary and I, I'll just give you some background. Me and Gary have the ladder systems built for the side kickers um, and it's ready to go. We have to now pick those heavy sons of guns up, lift it over our head, set it in place, hope that it measures out perfectly and that we don't have to do the up, down, up, down, up, down with it, but we might have to at least for the first one, just to make sure and then like stick it in and put it in place. At that point, now we're ready for the green boards. Since we have everything kind of built and we need to just kind of get it up to where it needs to be on the side. And then we got to mirror it on the other side. Um, that's going to be a lot of physical. Yeah. So I just am not, I'm just not, I'm not sure I could do it today, guys. I'm just not sure I have it in me today. The problem. The, the problem is, is exactly like what you said. We got to get them up and over. Yes. And that day that we finished it, I was looking at it and I was like, dude, I would like to, but I don't feel right. No, you were like dizzy and stuff. If I, like... I don't want to be up there trying to mess around with that being dizzy mm -hmm. and nauseous and just like exhausted in all sorts of different ways right. from the heat, you know, and it's, that's just, I didn't want to do it. Yeah. I sounded like a very bad idea. Very bad idea. I agree. <laughs> and like me today, now Gary's feeling much better, right? But me, I don't feel like my, my physical strength, my muscles and like my back and everything. I don't feel like it's at a hundred percent. So if I'm, if Gary's relying on me to hold up this other heavy end while he's up dangling somewhere, it's not safe. I'm putting him in danger. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and, I'm, and yes. And, and I'm putting myself in danger. You know, and when so you have to take up opportunity when you have the opportunity and you have to listen to your body and you have to go um, at your own pace whenever you're doing anything like this. I know you guys all know this. I'm saying it's a reminder for you 
but mostly for a reminder for me. <laughs> the biggest, so. the biggest thing is, is you know, it's summertime. You know, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be, you know, we're gonna have these ridiculous heat waves and whatnot like that. But I still think we're kicking butt. I still, we I'm are really kicking, happy. We are kicking butt like no tomorrow. We are. I am super happy with the progress yeah. that we're making and everything else. No, like I that. am too. But what I'm saying is, is that we gotta be real in the aspect that look, we had a lot of red flag heat <laughs> heat warnings and heat waves coming through to where. That that's big, like that's that's the highest heat, like warning that you can get. You know, in the sense of like, take care or take shelter. Don't be outside. Like, yeah, like it states as it in there. You here's know, one like thing, here's one thing that I here's <laughs> let me, your day let me out gripe, of the sun. <laughs> let me gripe for just one second, friends. Just one second, and I promise I won't go on a tangent about this. Here's the thing. When there's a storm warning and it says, hey, a tornado is right there. Take shelter. Nobody is going to say, why aren't you out there building your house right now? Right? Because right. there's a storm warning. Take shelter. Yeah. Right? So why do we get garbage when there's a heat warning and it says take shelter? No. Exactly. You know, like there it's it's literally, hey, mm -hmm. so why it doesn't. Come on, guys. Come on. No. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm off of that. 100% with that, like that one. But that's that's where I'm getting to is, is that, you know, this summer has been a good summer. It has been. We've gotten so much done. Like, seriously, so much done. All those rafters, um, everything is it's yeah. getting there. It's getting there. It's and getting it's, there. The big reason why we were able to get a lot of that done is because it was, you know, it was getting warm, it was hot, you know, and everything else like that. But it wasn't that excessive heat. Yeah. Where it was like, okay, I know it's going to be hot in summer, right? But there is a point where it's like, this is too much. I just this know, is hot. <laughs> I just know from the audience's perspective, sometimes it's, ex it's excruciating for y'all because we do have to deal with our climate. And in the springtime, it's raining a lot. That's just how it is. In the spring, it's raining. It's really wet. Um, and then you get that pocket of window of the perfect weather. And during those pockets, that's when Gary and I get the most done. We fall work and so winter, much. I, I come are to our find best. the fall and winter are our best. But not only that, that is the best time to do anything mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. you know? Spring is too wet and summer is like you only get so many hours. The only thing that sucks with winter is the hours. You only get so many hours. You only get so many hours. But they're like super productive hours. <laughs> They like you have top productive. energy because you're not like melting into a puddle. Correct. Um, you're cold, but the thing is with the cold, you can always like bundle up. You, you can always, always add put more. more you can you know? always add more. So keep yourself moving. I agree with you 100%. I think the fall and the winter out here for us are always like our most productive. If you go back and look on our videos uh, too, like for the time that we've been out it's, here. It's unfortunate. It's like I, I always wanted, you know, I always want to be able to get huge progress going on. You know, we've well, made we a are. lot of big progress. No, I know, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Like I want that, that big. And it's because of all the work that we do in the fall and the winter when we like literally work for 12 hour days we do. and we get a lot done in those 12 hours. And it's like, holy crap. Gary and I you know? and everyone else is just really eager for us to get to the point where it, none of it matters like when we're working on the inside because then it won't matter what it's doing outside at all it could be wait. hot it could be cold I it could be wait. wet it could be dry it don't matter we could be getting it going on because we'll be sheltered <sighs> but we have to finish the exterior first and That's... we can't rush it along no like we can't put ourselves you know out. i mean we could rush it along but is the end product going to be what i want and what you want no. And is it going to make it to where we are satisfied with it or are we just throwing things at it to finish it just to finish it? Exactly. No. And that, unfortunately, is a thing that happens to everybody in life. Right. Whenever you tend to go for something, your dream or anything else like that. Yeah. First, you are so motivated. Right. You're so motivated for this new dream and this new chapter in your life. And you end up. Going in, you know, rocking it out, 
doing it, you know, dancing around, floating like a bumblebee, stinging like a or floating like a butterfly, stinging, stinging like a thank bee. You. Exactly. I got you. I got right? you. <laughs> you're 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 in it. You're you're going for it. Yeah. And then it comes to this point where it's like you hit a wall almost. And it's like, I'm done. I want this to be done. I want it all to be done. Yeah. I'm so exhausted of the constant back and forth with this one thing type thing. It's just like, I, I just want to throw my hands up and be done. Yeah. But, so a lot of people end up throwing whatever they can at it real quick just to make it done yeah. and be able to walk away from it. And a lot of times that's what happens. And I feel like a lot of what it is is that, you know, these dreams and these things that people want, they always seem so fairy tale-ish. Out of reach. Out of reach. And once you get to a point where it's in your grasp and in your reach, and after you've worked so hard for it and went through all those different hoops, it gets to a point where it's like, I don't know if I really want that. Or it's, uh, this was so much hard work and I still have so much more to do. I don't see me getting where I want to be when I want to be. Right. And it makes it harder for people. So they try to rush through it to get to where they want to be. And now they don't have that experience from that one point to the end, seeing it through and trying to fully finish it through. Yeah. You know, a lot of people tend to just throw their hands up, you know, in a lot of aspects like that. And it's, I, I can definitely contest that, you know, or I can definitely say that I've ran into that many, many times in this build where I throw my hands up and be like, I'm done. I just want to be done. I just want to be done. You know, and this deck is definitely one of them. But but you don't quit. No, I'm not quitting and I'm not going to just, you know, try to go the easy way out of it. I'm going to continue going the way that I need to go about it because I'm, I'm me and I'm an OCD freak. And I'm just not going to give up on it. You know, I'm going to keep on going. And the, the struggle is real. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The struggle is real. But we're going to get it to where we want it to be you know and that's the the end the end of the end that's all that really matters we're getting there and we're getting there together Correct. blood sweat and tears and Correct. you know what sitting out on that deck the satisfaction is going to be so much more mm -hmm. it, it truly is and that's the thing like gary and i have gone through different phases with our builds and in our marriage and in our life and just in general where building off of what you were saying you feel like sometimes you're spinning your wheels you're just working and working and working and working it's like man i know i'm getting somewhere but the scenery's not changing yet no it's kind of like driving through texas it's almost like being, <laughs> almost like being on a treadmill yes the treadmill you're running but yet you're staying you're in one going place anywhere <laughs> but you're running your little heart out but guess what you're still getting your exercise right so I don't know. You guys get all the analogies we're throwing at you. <laughs> but the end is near. The yes. end is near for the back deck area. We are so, so close. We got those ladder systems done for the for the side eaves. We're going to have to get put that thing installed. up. Make sure that they're installed. And then it's going to be green board time. Board. That's it. That's all we got left. And we got... So we are... We're like... At, we're right there. We're right there. And I know we've been saying we're that, right there for a long time. That's, yes. It's our but that's because that we always were like, yeah, we are right there. You know, we only got... This thing to do, this thing to do, and this thing There's to do. There's only six steps left. <laughs> now it's, we got this one step to do. It's really not that much left. We are so we close. And I'm excited. So this month, uh, we're, we're looking forward to finally getting the back deck area to the point where it is ready for metal. Um, we're not putting deck boards down or anything, guys. Slow down. We're going to leave the zip board how it is on the floor for now so we can walk out there. We're just going to get the zip board up on the top and have it ready for metal. And then we are leaving it for a while. Gary and I, then later on this month, we are going to start working on the mud room over there. But before we do anything with the mud room, um, we got to kind of shift gears just a hair uh, and get our homestead stuff situated just a bit. We got to deep clean that um, the new upcycled barn that we made for the chickens. Cause we got to get ready for our goat. Our goat's going to be coming over here soon. We're going to have to figure out a, like, pen and outside area because right now there's only just the inside of that goat pen. And I, 
I can't just have it in the metal box. I yep. got to have an outside spot. Well, so we have we have other things that we got to do there. Um, and then also there's one thing that really needs our attention over at Camp Life. Um, and we have to get that situated. So we are going to work on those things as well this month. Yep. And then all of our attention will be shifted over towards the front mud room, which I'm super excited for. That's going to get built very quickly. Yeah. I guess like a good size analogy or whatever would probably be like what Anthony and Rox did with their greenhouse and yeah. like that building and like how fast that building went up over there for them. I think that that went very quickly. And I think that that's essentially kind of like what we're going to build on. It's going to be a little different. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea, just a mental <laughs> yeah. something, just a mental something. And it's going to be attached to the front area. So and I know that we did the um, playhouse very quickly. Yes. And um, the play, it's going to be a lot like how the playhouse. Yeah. Well, the in greenhouse the sense of, is a lot. Well, yeah. Too. But what I'm saying in like the sense of like how quick that one went up. Yeah. No, it went up. Know, it went up very fast. It's not, it's not going to take too long. Mm -hmm. The footprint of the green or the mud room, mud room is not that big. It really isn't. It's only eight foot by like 16 or eight by 16 and a half or something like that, if I remember right. can't remember exactly. I know it's a little bit. It's long and narrow. <laughs> it's, only, it's not going to be that, that crazy big and it's going to be one of the, the A, uh -huh. the A frame style. So it'll be easier for the trusses and all the tying in and everything. And that's going to make it super quick and easy yes. on that. So, so I'm looking forward to that. I think the hardest part for that, which isn't even really going to be that hard, uh, will be doing like the stairs and stuff that come off of there. That'll yeah. probably be one of the most time consuming parts of that whole build yeah. over there. But even that shouldn't be too bad. And I'm very excited because we won't have to have the ladder over there anymore. We'll be able to just go up and down the stairs. It's going to change the whole feel when we do that front area. It's going to change everything. It's going to change how everything is. And then everyone will be like, Oh, I see why you didn't put metal on the roof yet. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> now I get it. Because if I did... How? 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 <laughs> Gotta tie all this stuff in one way or another. And... There's a method to the madness, friends. There's a method to the madness. I know most of you know this. I know most of you guys know this. This is just us blowing off little seams we talk. We're just chatting as friends. Yes. We're just chatting. There's a lot going on, but we're yes. trying to get it done as quick as, as we can, but ugh, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. But today, today we're not really going to worry too much about that stuff. Today, I need another day <laughs> because, uh, like I said, Wednesday, I about freaking killed myself out there in the garden. I came back in. I was, like, overheated. I pulled something in my back, and honestly, like, I didn't feel it until at the end of the day. Like, it's not like I pulled something and I felt the twinge. Like I didn't feel anything like that. It was more so like at the end of the day, when I got in and I got cooled off, my body tweaked. just went, <clears throat> and I was like, no, she tweaked something in her back. I did. Sure. And like my hip. And so yesterday was very low key doing a 4th of July. Lots of fun, good food, good fellowship. But I was definitely feeling it, slow moving. Today, I am so much better. I'm probably like 60% today, but there's no need to push it. And like I said, the next bits that we're going to be doing are going to be very work them muscles. I'm going to have to be very strong, and I'm not oh. strong yet, you know. I can't wait for next week, though. So maybe. Next week's supposed to be a cool front. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> this weekend, you know, like maybe tomorrow we'll be able to get the one. Um, Eve up and just to check and see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I like mean, maybe I'm just today. Well, I want to see how I don't, I'm not going to push you through anything. I want your back to be fine. It I has to that. be, otherwise, it's I not know. safe. Exactly. I'm going to have to tie off everything anyway, you know, for when we go to put that thing up there. But I don't, I don't want to add anything else to us, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, like, and I'd rather you be feeling a lot closer to 9%. It's not a hundred percent. Yeah, no, I, I agree. So we'll see. I do have, uh, like I said, I have Addie and Serenity over here. They wanted to spend the night. So the girls are all here having a good time. Um, we're going to do something fun with the kids later. I, I'm probably going to do like fingernails and I got this really cool, like Aztec mud facial stuff or whatever. So I'm probably going to chill out with the little ladies and 
do some girl time. Oh, Gary yeah. and Abe can relax and game out or something while I do that. But this morning, first things first, I'm going to get going on some bacon. I'm going to make some waffles. Yeah. Rotate some laundry around. I think I'm going to pickle some eggs. Mm. I got a, I did get a lot of stuff from the garden. We'll, we'll talk about the garden later. But I did get a lot of stuff out from the garden. Uh, and I need to go back out there, though, because if I do any of the pickled eggs, uh, I maybe I'll send you out. I need to get some of those jalapenos off jalapeno. of the vine. Yeah, because I need the jalapenos for the eggs, for the pickled eggs. I got a ton, though. I have so many. The thing is, is that they're like the size of my thumb. And usually jalapenos, when you get them from the store, they're like the size of your finger. So I don't know if I want them to stay on the vine longer or if I'm ready to pull them. And the thing is, is that all the jalapenos that I've been like waiting and trying to like let them go a little bit bigger, they then they all turn them. red. And they, wilt, and they will turn. Yep. So I think like that we need, turn I think we need to pull them at the thumb size, at the thumb size right now. So that way the next grow cycle will okay. actually be long. Well, there's a lot out there. There's probably like no joke, like 60 freaking 70, 80 jalapenos. There's so many out there. <laughs> there's so many jalapenos out there. That's funny. No shortage of jalapenos. That's funny. <gasps> a little spicy, <laughs> a little mm -hmm. spicy. But anyway, we're gonna get on it. I know the girls are starving. Um, I just we wanted to pop in and say hi to you guys, let you know what's been going on for the last few days. Um, we just gotta keep this thing rolling the best that suits our bodies, our minds, our schedules. Um, but just know that we love y'all, and uh, don't jump to the worst conclusions, friends. Everything is all right. Yep. You know, hundred percent. Just if you all don't see us, don't think the worst. <clears throat> Just think we're chilling because that's probably Chill. what's going on. We probably needed the break. Yes. And <laughs> so, yeah. So I don't want you guys to worry about us. I want you guys to have a wonderful day. I hope that you guys do. Um, we'll be back with another episode. I'm going to try my best to get out uh, that video for you guys today on Simple Life Reclaimed. You guys can kind of help me with my garden a little bit. I'd appreciate it. I'm going to try my best to get that out today. Um, if not, it will be out very soon. Yep. And uh, the other stuff of all this work that we've got going on, I'm saving it until we can get one more work day in because that day, last time that we were working, Gary and I did just end it abruptly. Like we were in the middle of working and stuff. And then we just stopped because, you know, he was getting sick and everything. So if I did put that video out, it'd be like, la da 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 da. Okay, it's over. And like, it doesn't, it doesn't even like have it. Just like you're just walking, and all of a sudden there's the cliff, you know, yeah. <laughs> cliffhanger. So pretty much, I didn't want to do much. that to you guys. I wanted to get at least one more day of work in there, so that way I could kind of like, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just be patient. <laughs> but love you guys. I'm a long goodbye. -er. <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the net. Well. Ready? I did it last time too. I messed it up last time. So until the next one, friends, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye you guys. Later.